uh, hello everyone welcome back so in this lecture you are going to learn uh, dependency injection so what is dependency injection so in previous lectures you learned uh, tightly coupled loosely coupled and application context right so now the another one major important concept is nothing but dependency injection so in this lecture we are going to learn dependency injection so before that if you want to learn dependency injection first you have to understand what is dependency so let's discuss about that okay what is dependency and what is dependency injection okay so first we have to learn what is dependency so you have to understand what is dependency before learning dependency injection so let me so we already done example but you don't know that is a dependency injection okay so let me show you one simple example already we have written that let me show you so let me comment uncomment this one organize the import so in this lines in these three lines of code so if you want to create such in tendulkar class object so without passing constructor we cannot create an object of such in tendulkar right because such in tendulkar class doesn't have default constructor so you, we, do, we don't have a uh, default constructor here right so if you want to create Sachin Tendulkar class object, so you, you must need to create an object of Sachin Tendulkar with the help of constructor only. So this constructor is having shut interface. So now uh, let me write manually so that you can understand Sachin Tendulkar. I want to create Sachin Tendulkar class object. So Sachin Tendulkar such in tendulkar is equal to new such in the control space you just do control space space so such in tendul you can it, it's not showing right so it is showing only argument constructor so without passing an argument so we cannot create such in tendulkar object right just comment that one shut interface just comment it out so if you comment this one so if you want to create such in Tendulkar class object without passing constructor uh, dependency, so we, we cannot create an object of such in Tendulkar. So what does it mean? Such in Tendulkar is having dependency on shut interface. So without passing this shut interface, we cannot create an object of such in Tendulkar class because such in Tendulkar is having parameterized constructor. So with the help of parameterized constructor, then only we can create an object of such in Tendulkar. So if you don't pass the shut uh, interface to such in Tendulkar constructor, so we cannot create an object of such in Tendulkar. So finally, if I pass that, see, if I pass that, then such in Tendulkar, uh, such in Tendulkar object we can create. So here, what does it mean? So now let me, I can run, run such in Tendulkar class object. I can use this object and we can, I can execute the functionality. We are shut. Such in Tendulkar dot, copy this object, such in Tendulkar dot, we are shut. So without passing, such in uh, shut interface as part of argument we cannot create an object of such in tendulkar here you have to understand important concept so such in tendulkar is always having dependency right such in tendulkar is having dependency on shut interface so this is shut interface here uh, for such in tendulkar class it is a dependency for such in tendulkar shut interface is a dependency that is the meaning of dependency so without 
passing set interface, we cannot create an object of Sachin Tendulkar class. So here, for what is the dependency here? For Sachin Tendulkar, shut interface is a dependency. So that is the meaning of dependency. So let me tell you one real time example. So generally, uh, let's uh, I already explained you. Uh, so let me tell you again. So if you want, let's say uh, you are going to attend interview. Okay, you are going to attend the interview to get the job. So if you want to get the job, so what you have, you have a dependency, right? Where you have a dependency, so your interviewer, you, you have a dependency on interviewer. Until unless interviewer uh, accepts you, you, you cannot get the job, right? Interviewer has to select, first interviewer has to select you, then only you will get a job. So here interviewer is a dependency. So you have a dependency, interviewer as a dependency to get your job. So this is nothing but dependency. So interviewer is a dependency for who are all attending the interview to get a job. So that is one example. You can take any number of examples. So for example, if you want to travel from here, India to US, if you want to travel India to US, so how you can travel so you have a dependency on flight right so here uh, for you let's say let me tell you one example sachin tendulkar want to travel us how you can travel uh, to us so you have to book the ticket and you have to go by flight right so here sachin tendulkar is having dependency on flight if you want to travel to us right so sachin tendulkar is having dependency on flight so without flight sachin tendulkar cannot travel to us so here flight is a dependency for sachin tendulkar to travel us this is another example for dependency so like this you can take any number of examples to understand dependency so let's say another one more example. Why I'm telling these many number of examples, you guys have to understand the concept so that you can uh, write a program without depending on others. If I want to write any program, you can write immediately. So that's the reason I'm telling real world example so that if, uh, if you go to any uh, another institute, so many institute, if you attend, right? So they will always explain in technically. Technically, they will explain you. So some people can understand technically. Some people don't have capability to understand technically. So that is the reason here I want to explain each and every concept with one real time example so that each and every person can understand easily. That is the reason I am telling real time examples. So here, uh, let me tell you one more example. So I am talking about dependency guys. So dependency, what is dependency? So let me tell you one more example. Um, let's say if you want to uh, join online classes, if you want to join online classes, uh, you have to connect with the internet, right? So you have to connect with the internet, then only you can attend the, join, attend the online classes. So if you don't have internet, let's assume in your laptop, you have not connected the internet. So network, some, some uh, because of some reason, network is disconnected. So if you want to connect online classes, so you need a internet. So without internet, you cannot join online class. So here, internet is a dependency to attend the class. So I hope you guys are understood, right? So if you want to attend online class, you have a dependency on internet. So if internet is there, you can connect remotely anywhere you can attend the class. If you don't have internet, you cannot attend. So here internet is a dependency to attend the classes. So th these many number of exam real world examples are available. So you can take any number of examples, okay? Any kind of example. So now if you go to technically, 
if you take discuss about if you discuss technically so here what is the concept so if you want to create such intendable car class object so without passing shut interface we cannot create such intendable car class object so here shut interface is a dependency for such intendable car to instant instantiate is its object okay so that is nothing but dependency so if you I will share you this document, guys. Okay, you can follow it. Okay, dependency injection or inversion of control. So for dependency injection or inversion of control is a design design pattern. This is one of the design pattern. IOC is nothing but inversion of control. So we can uh, some people may have confusion. So what is dependency injection? What is IOC? So both will, uh, both are a little bit confusing, right? So don't get confused. Both are same only. We can call either dependency injection or we can call as a IOC, inversion of control. Some people may ask you in interview, what is IOC? You have to tell inversion of control, nothing but dependency injection. So IOC is the inversion of control. This is one of the design pattern uh, we can call it has a dependency injection how we are uh, uh, achieving dependency injection let me show you the example here let's take same example so here we have a dependency on shut interface to create such intendable car class object and if you want to test this functionality so you must have dependency on shut interface without passing this we cannot create an object of shut uh, sorry, such intendable car object. Now let's comment it out this one. If you see here in this specific line, so here what we are trying to do here so with the help of application context. So we are not going to create such intendable car class object here. So in earlier statement, we have explicitly created an object of such intendable car class object, but here, we are not going to create an object of Sachin Tendulkar. Then, who is creating an object of Sachin Tendulkar? So, this Sachin Tendulkar object is going to create by Spring Container, nothing but application context. The moment you start the server, so Spring Container will create your Sachin Tendulkar class object during the server startup. So if you observe here, so Sachin Tendulkar object is instantiated and it is created and we are able to execute this business successfully. So let me run this class, run as Java application. If you check here, we are able to search in Tendulkar weird blue color shirt, right? So here, if you observe here, we haven't passed the dependency. See blue color shirt, search in Tendulkar is weird, blue color shirt, the output came blue color shirt. But in this line of statement, we haven't passed the dependency. So without passing dependency, we are able to execute this program, right? Sachin Tendulkar is able to wear blue color shirt. Even we haven't passed the dependency to Sachin Tendulkar class, right? So this is nothing but dependency injection. So Spring Container is providing dependency to Sachin Tendulkar. So during the runtime, the dependencies which are present for specific class, the dependency is provided by Spring Container to specific class, nothing but dependency injection. So Spring Container is providing dependency to Sachin Tendulkar class. So we haven't passed the dependency to Sachin Tendulkar class. Spring Container itself, uh, 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 Spring Container itself provided dependency to Sachin Tendulkar. So Sachin Tendulkar is having dependency on shut interface. So this shut interface is provided in runtime by Spring Container. How Spring Container is provided his its a dependency. So you can see. So here we are already Sachin Tendulkar is having shut interface, and this shut interface is uh, impl impl uh, implements by blue color shut and red color shut. So blue color shut we have declared with at the rate component. So the moment we declare at the rate component during the runtime, 
spring container will create an object of blue color shirt. Nothing but interface object is created. So how we can create an interface on object uh, in generally in core Java, how we can create interface object. So with the help of subclass. So the class which is implements the interface by using subclass, mm -hmm. we can create an object of interface. So because so this is how spring container is created shut interface object with the help of blue color shut so he, how it is created because of we have declared a direct component annotation and also we have two kinds of components red color shut also there blue color shut also there so spring container is identified blue color shut why spring container is identified blue color shut because here we have declared at the rate primary annotation since we declared the primary annotation, so Spring Container knows that. So, okay, I need to inject this dependency to Sachin Tendulkar class object. So, th that is how Spring Container is uh, providing dependency to specific class with the help of at the rate component annotation. During the runtime, automatically the dependency is provided to Sachin Tendulkar class. So this is nothing but dependency injection. So I hope you guys are understood. Now let me open the document. You can see dependency injection or in, uh, DI or IOC. IOC nothing but inversion of control is a design pattern that removes the dependency from the program code so that it can be easy to manage and test your application. So what does it mean? So here, I, uh, I, uh, Sajin Tendulkar is having dependency, but we haven't provided the dependency, but even without providing dependency, we are able to execute the functionality. So that is the meaning of dependency injection. So it's a design pattern that removes the dependency from the programming code. So here I haven't passed the dependency by writing the code. That is the meaning of that. So that it can be easy to manage and test the application. So dependency injection makes our programming code loosely coupled. This is another high level of loosely coupled concept in Spring Boot or Spring application. This is very, very most important concept. Some people may ask you how Spring Boot is uh, uh, loosely coupled programming you just need to blindly you can answer with the help of dependency injection concept spring boot or spring framework is providing loosely coupled future so this is the answer you have to tell to your interviewer so how some people may ask you dependency directly so how you can tell uh, what is dependency injection so the dependency, any class which is having dependency, so the dependency provided by Spring Container is nothing but dependency injection. When that dependency is going to provide during the your server startup or during the runtime, your dependency is provided by Spring Container to your specific class. And some people may ask you, so how Spring Boot is or Spring Framework uh, is loosely coupled? How you, how you can say it is a loosely coupled? So this is another, this is this is one of the example guys, not only this is the example, this is one of the example to say Spring or Spring Boot application is a loosely coupled. So whenever a specific on object is having dependency, so the dependency is providing by Spring container is nothing but dependency injection. So, so this is, uh, in this case, Spring is loosely coupled for uh, a dependency in specific class. Whenever there is a dependency, Spring Container will provide a dependency for that specific class. This is nothing but dependency injection. And uh, so here, there are uh, three types of dependency injections are available. Spring Container, Spring or Spring Boot application can inject the bin in three ways. Three ways it can uh, inject a dependency. So those are by constructor injection, by setter injection, another one by field injection. Three types of injections are available in dependency injection. Spring framework provides uh, two ways to inject dependency. So generally so many will people will think like only two ways. What is that constructor injection and setter injection. There is another injection here a typo mistake guys. You uh, don't think like only two ways. So here 
such a uh, dependency injection will be having three types of dependency injections one is by constructor injection another one is by setter injection third one is field injection so let's talk about constructor injections so how constructor injection is going to uh, how we are going to perform constructor injection so let me show you so if you go to your Sachin Tendulkar class object, so we have created a Sachin Tendulkar class object, right? Mm -hmm. So here you just declare at the rate auto wire. That's it. If you declare an auto wire, then Sachin Tendulkar is object which is going to create with the help of constructor. So during the runtime, Spring container will create Sachin Tendulkar class object by with the help of constructor. So finally, constructor injection, nothing but instantiating an object with constructor is nothing but constructor injection. So let me run this program. So this case, whenever you are trying to execute this line of statement, so application context dot get bin of Sachin Tendulkar. So you don't know whether the Sachin Tendulkar object is created by constructor or the Sachin Tendulkar object is created by setter method or the Sachin Tendulkar object is created by field level. So how do we can confirm that whether this object is created with constructor or setter or field level. So let me prove you that. So let me run this example. Let me run this code again. Stop the server and start the server. So if we execute this program, we got the Sachin Tendulkar object and we are able to execute this example. If you see here, Sajin Tendulkar, weird blue color shirt, but we don't know whether it is uh, uh, created an object by using constructor or setter method or field level. How we can confirm? Let's debug it now. How we can debug? Let's go to Sajin Tendulkar class object, constructor, put it here, one system dot out dot print ln and type some message here, object created by, object created, Sachin Tendulkar object. Created by constructor. So testing purpose, I just keep written one SOP, system.out.println. So now let me stop the server, let me run it again. So if uh, this SOP is printed in the console, so you can get to know. So during the runtime, such Tendulkar object is created by constructor. So here, application context dot get be enough such Tendulkar, and then we are just executing this program. But we don't know whether that uh, such Tendulkar object is created by constructor or setter or field. So let me run the program now. You can see here, right? Sachin Tendulkar object created by constructor. So what does it mean? So Sachin Tendulkar object is created by constructor during the runtime. So uh, already Spring Container is created an object of Sachin Tendulkar with the help of constructor. How you how do you can confirm? So there is a SOP that we have written that is clearly printed here, right? So Sachin Tendulkar object is created with the help of constructor injection so let's uh, uh, debug more in depth so here by specifying uh, system dot out done print ln we can confirm that uh, by using constructor such an object is created another way we can debug what is another way so let me put breakpoint here so just put in breakpoint and just start the server so i just stop the server run in debug mode there is icon here right or you can uh, right click on the application and click on debug as Java application. Just uh, I run in debug mode. You'll see whether the uh, control will commit here or not. Check it. See, control came. When control came, the moment this statement is executed, so that time constructor is being called internally because Spring Container is going to create an object as Sachin Tendulkar with the help of constructor injection. C control came to Sachin Tendulkar class control uh, constructor. Now just execute that. Skip that. Click on this. So 
now you can confirm that Sachin Hulkar object is created with constructor injection with the help of constructor. Sir, this is okay, sir. Uh, now, how spring container is identified the specific bean uh, during the runtime? We don't know that, right? So, if you check the log, nothing is there. All are info logs, right? So, we, we cannot confirm how spring container is identified. So, let me show you in another way, another level of debug mode. So, go to your uh, there is a application dot properties, right? So go to your application dot properties. So here, so if you see, uh, let me stop the server again and let me run the server. If you check the console, so whenever you are running the server, every time there is a info logs, there is no debug logs, there is no warning or something like that, right? So it uh, was by default spring will display only info messages and uh, debug logs. It will not display debug logs. What is happening in background? So how we can debug that? So with the help of by enabling debug logs. So these are all info logs. Info in the sense information. So all in, uh, specific information related logs only will be displayed by spring. Spring or Spring Boot application. So by default, it will be displayed in four logs, but Spring cannot be displayed debug logs by default. So if you want to check the debug logs, so debug in the uh, debug logs, so we have to explicitly enable that. So why we need we are going to enable the debug logs? We'll check how Spring Boot is identifying those beans, and uh, we are going to debug that. So to debug that, we need to enable debug logs how we can enable debug logs with the help of logging dot level dot we are going to debug spring framework spring framework is nothing but what is the root page root package of spring framework or spring boot framework this is the root package org dot spring framework so this is the root package we just need to go into debug the spring framework so let's just application dot properties add that one Logging dot level dot is equal to debug. Okay, control save. Save your application and stop your application. Earlier, before enabling this, you can able to see only info logs, information related logs. So now I just clear the console and now let's start the server. If you check the console, you can see there are number of logs are displayed now. You can see along not you can see there is a all our debug logs. You can see after enabling debug logs, we can able to see all debug logs, right? So now we can debug. So earlier actually, so there is a lot of logs. So each Spring Boot is having actually yesterday we tried, but we are not able to see, uh, uh, not able to debug, right? So in previous version of uh, Spring Boot or Spring Framework, each each uh, whenever they are releasing new version, the, the logs which they are displaying, those are not same actually. So the, the version, latest version which we are using currently, so this, these logs are uh, not displayed pro uh, completely, which is uh, displaying earlier versions of Spring Boot. So because of that, we are not able to see. See now, let me search Sachin Tendulkar class object here. So it is displaying actually, but a lot of logs are displayed, but Eclipse is having limited uh, limited uh, number of lines of code to display uh, log messages. Eclipse is having limited number of lines to display log messages. So that is the reason we are not able to see all the logs. So if you if I search Sachin Tendulkar class object, let's try Sachin Tendulkar search. See, I am not able to find. You can see string not found. So earlier, very limited logs, limited debug logs are going to shown by Spring Boot framework. So that time I am able to see directly. So now uh, Spring uh, debug logs are increased in Spring Boot application in latest uh, uh, Spring Boot version of Spring uh, Spring Boot application lot of debug logs are enabled so that is the reason eclipse is having limited number of lines to show the debug logs 
that is the reason we are uh, we are not able to see our beans so now what we can do so for that we have to enable the number of lines of code to show in console how we can do that go to your windows and there is a preferences go to preferences and here just type run or debug you can see run or debug you can see this is the option run just type run and uh, run or debug there is a console click on the console see limit console output here currently only 80000 buffer size uh, eclipse is given by default 80000 so these many number of lines of codes only you can see in the console now i will disable that uncheck so if uncheck is nothing but so now all the logs can be displayed in the console so earlier only these many number of uh, uh, logs only we are able to see so now i just disabled that now we can see all the logs just click on apply and close just stop server and then start server again earlier versions of uh, uh, spring framework like a 3.1 before 3 version spring boot 3 version we are able to see in the console without doing the circus so now we can see here now let me search Sachin Tendulkar so whenever we are doing some changes I think we must restart the eclipse so you can see Sachin Tendulkar see Sachin Tendulkar object we are able to see here now see Sachin Tendulkar via constructor so Sachin Tendulkar object is created with constructor injection so you can able to see Sachin Tendulkar via constructor to be be named blue color shirt with the help of blue color shirt Sachin Tendulkar object is created by constructor so this is how we can debug how your bean is identified now so let me see by using auto wired auto wired by the bean name with the Sachin Tendulkar so by using bean type by using such an car bean name the object is initialized with constructor so now let me search another level such an car let me search one more place so you can see here there is a component section also search like this you can see some other place component such an car dot class see if you observe here identified candidate component so spring boot is identified candidate component how it is identified candidate component why because Sachin Tendulkar is class is declared with component annotation so the moment we declared at the rate component annotation so spring container is identified as a component so beans are identified as a component and that component is going to uh, created by based on the injection which we have created in respective class okay. okay so like that you can debug i see lot of number of code now if you see here how many objects are being created by such Tendulkar class objects only one so during the server startup only one object only is going to create by spring container guys so let's say in multi-thread environment if this application is going to access in multi-thread environment, so each and let's say 10 users are going to access your application. So Spring Container is going to create 10 objects of Sachin Tendulkar? No, only one object, even 100 of 100 people or 1000 people, as many number of people is going to access your application. Spring Container will create only one single instance, nothing but singleton object. So 10 people are going to access your application only that particular singleton class object only object only is going to share with all the people. So you have to understand singleton object is going to create it. How you can, how do you know that? So let me show you that also just to go to control F and find such in Tendulkar. So there is a created instance. You can see here auto wired by constructor right here you can see created shared instance of singleton bean you can clearly see here creating shared instance of singleton bean so during the runtime whatever beans which are declared in our application spring container will create singleton class object so that class object only is going to share with 
as many number of people in real time environment or uh, multi threaded environment i hope you guys are understood so interviewer may ask you so let's say i have declared a bean you know in my uh, spring boot application i have declared with at the component or uh, i just declared a bean spring how many objects are going to create in multi thread environment so interviewer will ask you so you have to tell only one object is going to created by spring container so that an um, object is going to share with all the people who are all accessing in multi threaded environment you have to answer okay so singleton class object is going to create by spring container so here how spring container is created an object with the help of constructor injection it is clearly showing here sachin tendulkar via constructor to be named called blue color shirt why blue color shirt so if you see it here in blue uh, there is a red color shirt also why spring container not created uh, uh, shirt interface with the help of red color shirt because in blue color shirt we have declared at the red primary so shirt class shirt interface object can be created in two ways either red color shirt or blue color shirt so uh, how spring container is created only blue color shirt because here we have declared primary so let's assume now so in console you can see right control f let me maximize the console again so control f and type sachin tendulkar you can see sachin tendulkar class object is created with blue color shirt so since you have declared with primary primary nothing but spring container will give priority to blue color shirt so now i will remove this primary here and i will give it to red color shirt now we'll see spring container will create an object of sachin tendulkar with the help of red color shirt so earlier it's a blue color shirt let me show you before that so here it is created with blue color shirt i am highlighting you guys so earlier it is created with blue color shirt now let me stop the server and clear the console and we'll see now let me run the application again now spring container will create an object of sachin tendulkar with the help of red color shirt dependency so now let me open the console again just control f and search sachin tendulkar you will get to know now see now spring container is created an object of sachin tendulkar with the help of red color shirt why because we have declared red color shirt class as a primary so this is how internally spring boot application or spring container will identify respective bean so now uh, we'll debug in on the next level so how spring container is identified my sachin tendulkar class so how let me show you guys here you are learning very in-depth concept most important actually no one will teach you like this like this so now go to your uh, main class so here there is a spring boot annotation is the right at the rate spring boot application annotation if you go if you open this class spring boot application class if you open that if you check it here interface this is in an in interface if you open this interface you can see here there is a component scan so by specific because of this component scan only spring container is identifying all the beans of your application so how how i can prove that how it can be proved that so let me show you now component scan just uh, copy that and let me stop the server before changing this let me stop the server and open your so get just declare that uh, component that annotation here in your main uh, spring boot application dot java so here what is the root root package here see what is the root package of your application spring boot application what is the root package your root package will be src main you can see src main java com dot spring boot app dot first spring boot application so this is the root package of your spring boot application right so now let me give this package name here so without declaring this also spring container by default it will be identified your all the bins within this root package of your application now let me run the application 
your program will execute successfully guys so let me run so your application executed successfully and sachin tendulkar is weird red color shirt so your bean is identified by using this base package so let's assume explicitly what i will uh, do sir earlier also it is working after declaring this one also working so how do you know whether uh, spring boot application is identifying because of at the rate component scan now you have confusion right sir without declaring this also this application is executed after declaring this also your application is executed how do i know spring container is identified my bean because of at the rate component scan how do i confirm that so let me confirm you let me clear the console stop that server and just uh, i will just uh, give some uh, incorrect name so the package name i have given incorrect package so let me give incorrect i just uh, changed the package com dot something like com dot uh, uh, spring boot application dot some wrong name i have given or you can type anything just type anything i have given wrong package just to save your application and now start your server now we'll see what will happen see we got an exception in exception in main thread so no such bean definition exception so you are getting no qualifier bean type to inject such in tendulkar class see now spring container is unable to find such in tendulkar class itself to create an object of such in tendulkar spring container is unable to find now you can confirm that okay because of at the rate component scan spring container is identifying all our beans which are available in our spring boot application so this is very very important concept guys so earlier in traditional application we used to write explicitly the code but when in spring boot application we no need to do this so spring container or spring boot application by default it will take care of all the beans how you can see inside the spring boot application it is already handled here by default it will uh, it will check the base package of your spring boot application even if you declare or not declare so let me control j revert back so this is the root package right so this is the root package of your spring boot application so spring boot container always check all the bins inside the root package of your spring boot application by mistake if you create these classes so the sachin tendulkar class if you create outside of this package so you again your spring container cannot identify this class so how you can prove that so let me try so stop this application and clear the console and i will what i will do i will just uh, move this class uh, where let me in resources folder somewhere i want to just move it so we cannot move in resources folder what i will do let me create some uh, other new package package called uh, uh, com dot test package okay i just created com dot test package so now i just moved this uh, sorry i just moved this sachin tendulkar class object in test package let me move this where is the test package second this is the test package so here i want to move yes click on okay so now sachin tendulkar class object move to com dot test package so what is the base package of your spring boot application this is the base package of your spring boot application now if you run the application we'll see what will happen see spring container is not able to identify your bean class sachin tendulkar class because spring container always search your beans within the base package only so whatever package you create you should create within this base package only so ap apart from this package outside the outside this base package if you create spring container cannot identify so many people while writing the program sir i am getting this exception uh, my uh, i have written the code properly if you see 
code is correct only. I have written all the code properly. So, but my code is not working. It is going these exceptions. How? Why? Because. So, why? Because you should know the basic concept. So, you should not create your beans outside of the root package. You should create always within, within the root package. Any package which you have created in Spring Boot application that should be created within the this root package only. Otherwise, your uh, beans will not be identified. So, let me bring it back here. and remove this package no need so testing purpose i just shown you guys okay so by using at the rate component scan spring container is identifying all the beans which are available in our application so we no need to define explicitly so spring container will take care of it so to prove that i just written manually okay so now we have lent constructor injection so let me explain you setter injection so setter injection is also not very easy guys, nothing. What we have to do, so earlier we have created with the help of constructor injection, right? So now what I will do, I will just comment it out this one. Then let's create one setter method. Right click on the class and go to source. Sorry, uh, source and there is a setter and getter methods, right? Select setter method. So why it is not showing? Let me save it here. Yeah, this file is not saved. That's the reason it's not showing. So after commenting out, you have to save the file. Then right click and check there is a setter and getter methods. Click on only select setter method. Okay. Only select setter method. Okay. I just selected setter method. Click on generate. That's it. So I have created setter method and after uh, after uh, selecting, after writing setter method, spring container will create uh, an object. Let's check whether it will create or not. Let me run this object, run this class. So I'm just executing the program. So what will happen? I just created, I removed the constructor. I just given the uh define the constructor sorry setter method here whether your object is going to create no why so spring container is unable sir uh, setter method i have created but uh spring container is unable to create my object see peer method because it is not created right why because we have to declare auto wire so we have to declare at the rate auto wire annotation then only your shut object is going to initialize by spring container so my battery is down one second guys let me connect the charger Yeah, I just connected charger. So now you can see you have to declare at the rate auto wire. Otherwise, spring container cannot create an object of shut interface. So Sahinulkar is having dependency on shut. So if you want to provide a setter injection, then you have to create a setter method. Along with that, you have to declare at the rate auto wire. So now let me clear the console, stop the server, and let me run the application again. So setter injection, nothing but injecting an object dependency of dependency object with uh, uh, setter method is nothing but setter injection. So any method object which are created by setter method is nothing but setter injection. Sir, how I can confirm whether it is spring container is created with a setter injection now? See, your application program executed successfully. You can see such an angular weird red color shot. So how do I know whether this is created with the setter method? So let's open the console, uh, control F and search Sachin Tendulkar. So we are not able to see Sachin Tendulkar. Why? Because let me stop the server and clear the console and let me run the server again. So all the logs. See again, logs are not displayed. Why? Let's check. We already enabled the logs, right? Org dot level dot org dot spring framework dot debug. So even 
earlier it is shown all the logs now it is not showing so just clear the console let me check stop the server again or we can do one more thing so sometimes this eclipse is creating but our chains are not reflecting guys you don't bother about it so, so now let me prove that how uh, whether Sachin Endulkar object is created with setter method or not. So just uh, put breakpoint here or SPOP. Just write here system.out.println, system.out.println. And here you write one message, object created by setter method. Created by setter method injecting an object the help of setter method nothing but setter injection so now clear the console and just run the, run your application again if you check here there is a log displayed here so object is created by setter method so the moment you run the server so in this uh, statement is printed right so so what does it mean so this method is executed so con uh, spring container is created an instance with the help of setter injection so actually whenever this setter injection is performed before this setter injection the default constructor of uh, such intended class will be being called internally so after that only this setter method is going to execute okay so i already clearly mentioned here you can see so setter injection what is setter injection so setter injection is a dependency injection in which the spring framework injects the dependency object by using setter method of the class so you just you just saw right so the, the moment you created setter method of uh, shut interface and by declaring auto wide annotation so uh, spring container is created an object of shirt interface with the help of setter method so that is the meaning of that so again if you see here so the call the call first goes to no argument constructor no argument constructor nothing but default constructor even if you don't write default here there is no default constructor right even if you don't write default constructor internally there is a default constructor will be created by jvm so that jvm uh, that constructor is going to uh, executed by spring container so that is the meaning of that so the call first goes to no argument constructor and then to the setter method it does not create new bean instance so whenever this setter method is being called so that time again it will not create new bean instance so spring container will create an object of shut interface by with by using default constructor once the default constructor is executed after that only the setter method will be executed so that is the meaning of that sir how i can prove that so you have written here i don't know whether it is correct or not so what you have to do just uh, debug yourself and check it let me debug now so here it is written uh setter injection is a dependency injection in which the spring framework inject the dependency and object using the setter method okay well and good after that the call first goes to the no argument constructor and then only it will go to the setter method so it does not create new object how do i know before executing setter method there is a default constructor is being called how do i know so let me debug now so everything you should have you should uh, have proof guys don't learn blindly Whenever you are reading something, you just need to directly go to write a program to prove that or write a program such a way that whether it is real true or not. So now what we are going to check now. So setter injection, we have performed the setter injection. So here you can see the call first goes to the no argument constructor, then only setter method will be executed. So how I can prove that? So now let's see. Let me write default constructor here. So Sachin Tendulkar, I will just write uh, one default constructor here. Public, public and default constructor. So this is a default constructor. It doesn't have anything. Just I will write one uh, system dot out dot 
print uh, now we have to check so in shutter master injection so whether first constructor will be is being called or shutter method is being called so yes so, so, so some of the technical people will ask you an interview They'll, can you explain me shutter shutter injection so uh, object will be created with the help of shutter method is nothing but shutter injection immediately interview will ask you is that really spring container is created your object by using a uh, uh, shutter method so you will say uh, obviously yes shutter method only that is wrong let me prove that so uh, actual original object is going to create with the constructor only so after that only shutter method is being executed check it here uh, default constructor if you ask a 10 years experience guy or 5 years experience guy also most of the people cannot answer this so if you ask just check yourself ask that sir, how center injection is going to perform so people will answer uh, if you create setter method so spring container will inject an object by using setter method only that is well and good but original object will not be created here because the original object is going to create it from constructor so if you tell setter method uh, object is created uh, within the default constructor some people will tell that is wrong so let me prove that stop the server and run in debug mode each and everything learn in depth guys so don't blindly follow the statements which are given in uh, writing in uh, institutes uh, they, they will write a definition by using setter method by uh, by injecting by writing setter method spring container will create an object of respective bean that is obviously wrong 100 percent wrong so let me prove that let me put breakpoint here see default constructor i put the breakpoint and setter method also i put breakpoint now we'll see where actual object is going to create uh, by spring container this is sachin tendulkar object right so let me run in debug mode now I am just running debug mode. See, the moment I executed the program, first call goes to your default constructor, not to your setter method. So what does it mean? So Spring will inject the bean with the help of setter method. I agree. But actual object is created by using default constructor. This is most important concept, guys. Okay. So now if you, I just executed this program by using uh, debug mode. See, control goes to the constructor first. Now, there is another breakpoint, right? So, in uh, setter method, I have added a breakpoint here. So, now control F8, just type control F8, function F8. Next, control will come to setter method. So, uh, actual object will not created here. Actual object is created by with the help of constructor. And after executing this constructor, then only the object is been initialized in setter method. So this is how you can prove that guys. Okay. That is the meaning of this document. So the call first goes to no argument constructor and then to the setter method. It does not create any new bean instance. So setter method will not create any new bean instance. So what does that mean? Actual object will initialize it here and that is just where this method is just executed during your program execution since you have declared with auto wired annotation so you learned uh, most important debug uh, in-depth concept guys okay so now next what is another one so there is a, another injection what is that the, i have given uh, some other example so you can go on refer it okay i will share this document so here Field level injection. There is a another type of dependency injection. We have uh, we got to know constructor injection and setter injection. Now let's discuss about field level injection. So field level injection is nothing but uh, uh, the Spring framework injects the dependency object by using at the rate auto wide annotation followed by the field. So let me prove that. So now followed by the field nothing but now i will comment it out this setter method okay let me stop the server before changing this server is stopped successfully so now i have commented out setter method
now go to sachin tendulkar class object now sachin tendulkar class is not having constructor and also it is not having setter method but it is having field so so let me run now what will happen let me run that application see it is saying null pointer exception so spring container is unable to create an object of that interface because null pointer exception why because while creating such a null car object such a null car is having dependency on shut interface so the shut interface is not created why because we have not created constructor we have not defined the setter method now spring container got confused i don't know how to create an object of shut interface so that's the reason it is not initialized by spring container we got the exception now how how we can resolve see definition itself you can see so spring can spring point spring framework injects the dependency object by using auto wired annotation followed by the field so now let me declared i just declared a field there is no constructor there is no setter method just declared at the rate auto wire along with your field that's it so now let me stop the server and run the server again now you can see such intendal car object is uh, weird uh, such intendal car created with red color shirt see what is the constructor see default constructor you can see here defaults constructor so here so there is no nowhere is declared right so this is how spring container will create with the help of field level injection this will happen in uh, real time uh, by using reflection concept guys that reflection concept will happen internally so spring container will create an object of uh, shut interface by using field level injection so this field level injection will, will be happen by using reflection concept okay so now in this course you will in this lecture you will learn what is dependency injection sorry what is dependency and what is dependency injection and types of dependency injection this is very most important concept guys you have to learn in depth knowledge you have to practice same whatever i shown here don't buy had the code don't buy had uh, uh, dependency injection and you debug by yourself whether it is really created a constructor whether really created setter whether it is really created field level you have to debug in your laptop or your computer then only you can understand the concept properly don't buy have the code if you want you can go and check with any uh, then the guy who is working in software industry uh, out of 100% uh, people only uh, 60 to uh, 70% people can answer remaining 20 10 to 20% people even if he is having even they have uh, 9 years of experience 5 years of experience they cannot answer this blindly they will say by using constructor constructor injection by using setter setter method injection so uh, if you if you ask them can you prove that whether it is really created by setter while creating setter whether really object is created in setter or default constructor nobody will not answer okay so make sure learn in depth concepts and uh, succeed in our life okay so in next lecture we'll uh, we'll explain new concepts uh i hope you guys are understood if you have any doubt you can ping me in my whatsapp number okay as soon as possible i will respond you back who are all watching newly kindly subscribe this channel and learn your coding skills okay so go to youtube.com rasul ipan shake slash playlist so here you can see there are a uh, lot of so not this one guys this is uh, another level so there is another uh, channel i have created that is uh, at the rate tech underscore i think t is yes tech underscore rasul underscore shake so from here from scratch you can learn there is a java palace channel i have created from here go to the playlist and you can learn all the concepts step by step in depth concept i have explained here okay i uh, here you can learn angular js microservices everything guys okay thank you so much we will connect you tomorrow okay